What's up, YouTube world? This is Steven again. It is currently 9.55 p.m. on uh, October 18th of 2024, and I would like to welcome you all to my top 10 song reviews list from song reviews 1201 through 1250. We got exactly 10 song reviews that got a 5 out of 5 or better, so that's perfect because I, um, in my top 10 videos, I only put songs that get a 5 out of 5 or better in there, and we got exactly 10 of those. You're going to see a lot of song reviews from early in this um, pack to the more recent ones of this pack. The middle of this pack was kind of not that great, but you know what? We still got 10, and we are going to get started right now. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get started. Coming in at number 10 is Drag Me Under by Bless the Fall featuring Alpha Wolf. Song review number 1204. Wow, wow, wow. This song was awesome. There was a hard head bane breakdown in this one. Bose cleans were, yes, of course, eye-poppingly good. The chorus was so damn catchy too. Jared's uncleans were filthy, dirty, and brutal. The drumming was super powerful. What I enjoyed most was all of that amazing guitar riffing. It is some riffing I haven't heard in many of their other songs, so that was unique. Bless the Fall delivered another banger with this one. Coming in at number 9 is Hate This Song by All Time Low featuring I Prevail, song review number 1224. Boy oh boy, it didn't disappoint. There was a hard headbanging breakdown before the final chorus. Speaking of which, the chorus was so catchy and the cleans during the chorus were spectacular. The guitar play was rhythmic, the drums were super powerful, and both instruments blended so well together. The uncleans right before the breakdown were filthy, dirty, and brutal. There were also some instrumental skips, which I liked. Uh, I had nothing bad to say about this one. Coming in at number 8 is Mana God by Make Them Suffer, song review number 1246. Man oh man, this song was awesome and super heavy. There were not one, but two hard headbanging breakdowns. The guitar riffing was excellent and so rhythmic. The drums were extremely powerful in this one, and both instruments blended so well with one another. The uncleans were absolutely filthy, dirty, and brutal. I didn't mention this at the end, but I also can't get over how great the structure and transition of everything was in this song. Make Them Suffer delivered another banger with this one. Coming in at number 7 is Waking Nightmare by Conviction, song review number 1206. Man oh man, this song was incredible. There was a hard headbanging breakdown. The cleans during the chorus were, yes, eye-popping. The uncleans were filthy, dirty, and brutal per usual. The drums were super powerful. The guitar riffing and play was awesome. What truly pushed me over the edge was the riffing at the very end of the song, which I actually played air guitar to at the very end. It was something I haven't heard from any other Conviction song. It was unexpected, and I loved it. Coming in at number 6 is... De is Demon Killer by Within the Ruins, song review number 1205. Wow, this song was fantastic. There were not one, but two guitar solos. There was also a hard head bang breakdown in this song. The guitar riffing from beginning to end was absolutely amazing, and I expected nothing less. The drums were super powerful and lightning quick, with some great double bass blast beating on a couple of occasions. The uncleans were so filthy, dirty, and brutal in this one as well. I got absolutely nothing bad to say about this one. Yet another banger by Within the Ruins. Getting to my top five now. These top five are pretty set in stone. Coming in at number five is Into the Flames by Oceano, song review number 1210. Wow, wow, wow. This song was awesome and extremely heavy. There was a hard head bang breakdown in this one as the last minute of this song was extremely heavy. The guitar was rhythmic and chuggy in the final minute. The drums were super powerful and there was some slow double bass blast being in the final minute. The unclean vocals were, fil were filthy and dirty and the gutturals were brutal as we got to hear a lot of great vocal range in this song. Oceano delivered another banger with this one. Coming in at number 4 is Heaven Breaker by Dream Elixir, song review number 1239. Oh my god, this song was incredible. There were not one, not two, but three hard headbanging breakdowns. The guitar riffing was absolutely phenomenal. The drums were super powerful throughout the entire song, and both instruments blended so well together. The uncleans were filthy, dirty, and brutal, and we got to hear a lot of amazing range. However, the cleans were, you guessed it, eye-poppingly good. Even though this song was on the long side, it had everything that I wanted to hear and then some. So my top three 
each got at least a 6 out of 5. So coming in at number 3 is Whitewashed Tomb by As I Lay Dying, song review number 1245. Oh my god, this song was phenomenal. There were not one, but two hard headbanging breakdowns. There was also a guitar solo. The cleans were, yes, of course, eye-poppingly good. The uncleans were filthy, dirty, and brutal, per usual, with As I Lay Dying. The drums were super powerful. However, I cannot get over how amazing all of that guitar riffing was from the beginning of the song to the end. Everything about this song was immaculate, and I couldn't get over how good it truly was. Coming in at number two is Conception, A Nameless Fear by Infant Annihilator, song review number 1250. This is my most recent one, it isn't even uploaded yet, it's going to be uploaded at midnight. But wow, this song was fantastic and damn heavy. There were not one but two hard headbanging breakdowns, there were not one but two guitar solos. All of this was amazing. The guitar riffing in general was awesome, the drums were damn powerful and fast as lightning along with some lightning quick double bass blast beating. The vocalist's uncleans were filthy, dirty, and brutal and he provided us with a lot of great vocal range. This song had everything I wanted and then some. And coming in at number 1 on my top 10 song reviews list from song reviews 1201 through 1250, if any of you watch all of my 50, you should you should know what it is and probably know what it is and that song is flying the black flag by shadow of intent song review number 1212 holy crap this song was impeccable there were not one oh no not two not even three but five five hard head vein breakdowns five of them that ties my record for hard head vein breakdowns in one song the drums were ridiculous, powerful, and lightning quick. The guitar riffing was rhythmic as anything, and that solo was lightning quick as well. I can't get over how brutal the gutturals were from the vocalist, and his uncleans damn filthy and dirty as ever. This is their newest song, and my head is going to hurt tomorrow, but I don't care. So that is my top 10 song reviews list from, from song reviews 1201 through 1250. Hit me up in the comment section below and please let me know what you thought about this list and what some of your favorite song reviews were from these past 50 because I believe I did this list justice and I believe I got it in the correct order according to what I thought was the best. But yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed it, but either way, if you liked what you saw in this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. With starting another 50 song reviews, starting with 1,251, this is Steven signing out.